Hello YouTube, it's good to see you guys again. Today I want to share with you what I'm doing with my C308. I didn't like the compensator that came on it. It's a good compensator uh, by all accounts. I just want something that's not going to put the flash, the muzzle flash straight up. I want something that's going to put the muzzle flash, you know, maybe like a flash hider. Something that works more like a flash hider than a muzzle brake. So I wanted to, you know, put one of those on there. Some of these require custom fitting. The one that I bought, I bought because I didn't think it would need custom fitting, but it does in fact need custom fitting. Let me explain. I don't know if you guys can see that. There, this is what came on there. It's a very good muzzle brake. Uh, the problem is, uh, for low light shooting, it's going to shoot that flash straight up into your sight. So, uh, that's potential for blinding there, uh, momentary blinding. I picked this one up because I figured it was a birdcage flash hider, and it pretty much is. The problem is, uh, I wanted the the openings to go all around that way I wouldn't have to worry about where they land but uh, they don't go all the way around so therefore I want this part the solid part to end up on the bottom and what that does is when you're shooting prone it won't kick up a whole lot of dust that's why they made it like this. I thought it was going to have an opening there, and who cares where it lands when you screw it on. But uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I got to find a way to make this land like that on the bottom. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how exactly I plan to do that. Uh, what you need in order to get this done you need some files and you get your your washer and you file it down screw it on check see how that goes if it's not the way you want it you gotta file it down some more and so on and so forth trial and error until you're done so uh... i'll post my results uh... probably later in this video Alright guys, I just finished filing the washer so that I can put the muzzle device on my C308. It's a birdcage style flash hider with a solid bottom to uh, mitigate dust while you're shooting prone. Therefore it required a custom fit. So here are the results of that. Came out perfect. Took quite a while. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, you know, it just needs a little bit of filing. Sometimes it takes quite a while. But now it's perfect. And, uh, we're going to take this thing out shooting. We're going to see how it, how it goes. I mean, I like the trigger. I've only heard good things about this firearm. Now, this is a polymer trigger. Uh, PTR-91 calls it their Navy trigger. Just because, uh... You know, it's a little bit more um, corrosion resistant being polymer. Uh, the internals are obviously all metal. Uh, they're well finished. And uh, I can't wait to shoot this thing, guys. It's going to be really nice. Uh, when you're cut doing your custom fitting, uh, don't press hard. Let the teeth do the work on the file. And remember that you can always cut off more if you didn't cut off enough however if you go too fast and you cut off too much you can't put that back on you're stuck with it so go slow check often and uh... you know take it slow guys um, you can't put the material back on after you've gone too far so you gotta go slow check keep going and uh, you'll be satisfied with your result 
Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your company. Thank you.